my dear students in this session we are learning the sequential statements in bhdl first sequential statement is the process statement what is process statement process statement is going to describe the functionality of a portion of an entity in sequential form okay and what is sequential statements so here we are explaining that process statement is a sequential statement okay process statement is a sequential statement what do you mean by the sequential statement if the statements are executed line by then that type of the statements are called the sequential statements okay now let us learn the syntax of the process statement okay process statement begin with the keyword process process statement begin with the keyword process and end with the end process okay but in the syntax we have it started with the process label and ended with the process label okay it is a optional if you are interested you can use that process label okay it is going to just ex explains in the program that here the process begins just it is the name of that process statement and it is user defined so but exactly the process statement start with the keyword process and afterwards we are going to write the sensitivity list and next is is the keyword remember that there is no semicolon here okay and after writing this line we are going to declare the variables that variables we are going to use in this process statement okay after declaring this variables this is the begin of the process statement after the begin you can write any number of sequential statements after writing the sequential statement write the end process end space and the process and end pr process is also the keyword what are the keywords keywords are the reserved words that is designed by the manufacturer okay and afterwards the process label okay if you started your process statement with the process label then at the end also you should write the process label okay this is about the process statement next let us learn the variable assignment statement and the signal assignment statement what do you mean by variable assignment statements means if you want to assign any variables then we are going to use the variable assignment statement okay usually variables can be de declared inside the process statement then we are using the variable assignment statement okay for this variable assignment statement one syntax is there that is variable object and this is called the symbol of the variable assignment statement and the expression expression is nothing but it is evaluated and it is going to give the value to this variable object okay this is about the variable assignment statement in the same way we are using the signal assignment statement also signal assignment statement is also the same as the variable assignment statement but in the signal assignment statement we are assigning values to the signals okay this is the symbol for the signal assignment statement and this is the syntax for the signal assignment statement that is signal object signal assignment statement expression after is the keyword and delay value you can use okay another one important point about the signal assignment statement is we can use the signal assignment statement in two ways that is one way is inside the process statement another way another way outside the process statement if the signal assignment statement appears inside the process statement then it is called a 
sequential signal assignment statement. If this signal assignment statement appears outside the process statement, then it is called a concurrent signal assignment statement. Okay. Now, let us see the simple example for the process statement. Okay. Using the variable assignment statement and the signal assignment statement. Okay. As we studied in the syntax, here P Z is there. Okay, before that actually we have declared that A and Z are of the type signal and it is of the type integer. Just we have declared. And next to this is the P Z and colon. P Z is the label of the process statement. Afterwards the keyword process. Next is the sensitivity list. A is the sensitivity list. And this is what? This is a item variable declaration and this is begin of the process and this is end of the process and the process label just here you see this process label and this this process label and this process label both are the same in between the begin and at the end of the process here they are using the statement 1 statement 2 statement 3 these are the sequential statements okay and here you see v1 is the one variable it is of the type integer and after v1 it is called the variable assignment statement a minus v2 and in the next statement z and the signal assignment statement z is also declared in the variable uh, signal it is of the type it is of the type signal so here they have taken the signal variable assignment statement whereas v1 is of the type variable so that is why here it is variable assignment st statement similarly v2 afterwards variable assignment statement z plus v1 into v2. this is statement 3 in this way they have written the three statements but according to the process statement any number of statements you can take after completing writing the statement you are going to write the end process and the process label okay this is a one simple example for the process statement okay here is the another example for the process statement okay here it is using the counter is one type and here this is a signal assignment statement assigning after the delta delay value okay and next another one statement another one statement only here it is explaining the signal assignment statement after delta delay value okay next we are going to study the weight statement actually what happens in till now we studied the process statement process may be suspended by means of sensitivity list that means process has a sensitivity list okay if some event is occurred on any sensitivity list afterwards what happens process statement is going to execute the last sequential statements so after executing the last sequential statement process is waiting for the next event sh should occur on the sensitivity list okay so that means what means in the process statement it is not possible to suspend the execution in between any statement of the process okay it should start with the begin and end at the end of the process only it is not going to suspend in between the any process statements okay for that we are going to study the another one statement is called the weight statement what is the main purpose of the weight statement means it provides an it provides an alternative way to suspend the execution of the process okay it provides an alternative way to suspend the execution of the process statement there are the three basic forms of the process statement okay what are the three basic forms means first one is 
weight on sensitivity list first one is weight on sensitivity list second one weight until boolean expression third one weight for time expression okay weight on sensitivity list here this is same as the process statement and remember that weight and on are the keyword weight until is the keyword weight for is the keyword here sensitivity list once again it contains the list of the inputs and outputs and boolean expression means wait until boolean expression you can take any valid boolean expression okay after executing this boolean expression the process is going to suspends okay wait for time expression okay it is going to wait for this time expression if we want we can combine all the three in one statement like wait on sensitivity list until boolean expression for time expression okay let us see one example for this wait statement okay so here we are going to see the example for all the three types of the wait statement first is wait on abc okay wait on is a keyword abc is the sensitivity list okay just it is same as the process statement wait until a is equal to b that means the statements are not going to execute till a is equal to b next wait for 10 nanoseconds okay after 10 nanoseconds the next statements are going to execute it and next wait on clock for 20 nanoseconds okay and similarly you can check the condition also that is sum is greater than 100 and sum is greater than 100 using the until and the for okay this is about the wait statement okay next let us study these are the examples okay next let us study the if statement okay this is what your if statement why we have to study the if statement if statement is also called the sequential statement okay till now what we studied they are also the sequential statements but in that what happens all the statements are ex- sick line by line without checking any condition but in some situations we need to check the conditions then we are going to study the if statement what is the work of the if statements means it is going to check the conditions depends on that condition true and false they are going to execute the blocks of statements okay let us study the syntax of the if statement this is the syntax of the if statement okay the syntax begins with the keyword syntax begin with the keyword if afterwards the condition boolean expression next then it is also the keyword remember that there is no semicolon here after writing this we are going to statements next else if bool else if is the keyword once again another condition then sequential statement this is called the else if clause any one if statement can contain any number of else if clause or it may have the zero else if clause and finally the else else is a keyword once again the sequential statement and the finally end if 
okay let us study how it executes okay first if is a keyword and this is a test condition boolean expression is nothing but what it is a test condition then is a keyword here we have written the test condition if this test condition is true means this set of the sequential statements are going to execute it after executing this sequential statement where your control goes your control goes directly to the end if statement this is not going to execute all these statements okay but this test condition is false means what happens it is not going to execute this set of sequential statements what it is going to do it is going to check the next condition if it is present if it is present then it is going to check this next condition okay remember that here else if else if actually we are pronouncing it as a else if but the spelling is e l s i f in the v h d l if this condition is true means it is going to execute this set of sequential statements after executing once again it goes to the end if and it is going to execute the next statement after the end if but what happens if this is false if this test, uh, test condition is false means what happens if this expression contains another else if it is going to check that condition okay but here according to this syntax we have not written the another else if but you can write any number of else if can else if clause but here you think that here it is if it is false means what happens then it is going to x final else if then okay here if this condition is false this condition is also false then it is going to x without checking any condition here there is no condition is there it is going to execute this set of the sequential statements after executing your control goes to the end if statement and it starts executing the next statement okay this is about the syntax of the if statement okay let us see the example of the if statement okay here we have written three examples one simple example if if is a keyword condition sum is less than and equal to 100 then is the keyword no semicolon here no semicolon here and this is called the sequential statement and finally end if okay if this condition is true that sum is less than or equal to 100 is true then it is going to execute this one and it stops the execution of the end if statement if it is false means what happens it start executing the next statement after the end if statement okay so this is the first example this is the first example simple example in the second we have taken the in the second here we have taken the ones else if and the else okay here what they are explaining means if any one nickel underscore in then deposit is equal to total underscore 10 if nickel underscore in if it is of the type in 
then your deposit is equal to this one else if dime underscore n then deposit is equal to total underscore 15 if this condition is true it is going to execute this one if this condition is false then here it is coming to this next one if this is true it is going to execute this one this is also false this is also false next it is going to check the next condition if this is true it is going to execute this condition if this is false finally it is going to execute this and end it okay this is the second condition second example for the if statement third one in this way also you can use that is two conditions at a time and the sequential statements that means here just you see in first example and second example only one conditions are there if this condition is true then if this condition is true it is going to execute this one if this condition is true it is going to execute this if it is false means it is going to check the next condition but in the third what happens both the conditions should be true in this way also you can use your if statement this condition this condition if, if conditions are true then it is going to execute this statement if it is false then it is not going to execute this statement it is going to execute the next statement present after this one okay in this way you can use the if statement in different forms okay till now we have studied the if statement what is the main work of the if statement main statement is to check the conditions depends on the condition true and false it is going to execute the set or the block of the sequential statements but if the conditions are more then also it is possible to use the sequential if statement but when the conditions are more it is very difficult to maintain the program with if statement and debugging is very difficult so that is why another one important statement is the case statement case statement and if statement is also called the conditional statements why they are calling the conditional statement because they to check the conditions depends on the conditions they are going to execute the statements so they are called the conditional statement so another one important conditional statement is the case statement okay let us study the general format of the case statement once again it starts with the keyword case and here we are going to write the expression is nothing but any test conditions and is is the keyword and next when is the keyword and here we are going to write the choice and the symbol and next sequential statement similarly the same when choice and the sequential statements okay this is called the one branch this is called the another branch in this way it may contain any number of branches and the final branch is the when others after when others end case okay let us see once again the general format of the case statement it begin with the keyword case afterwards the expression next is is the keyword once again there is no semicolon here next it starts with the when keyword choices next sequential assignment statements when choices sequential assignment statements 
when choice this is called the branch one and the second when choice is called the another branch in this way it can have any number of branches last branch is the when others branch and after the when others branch end case when others when when case is and end case are the keywords let us see how this is going to execute okay here if this expression is this choice then this is going to execute the branch one directly okay and after executing this your control goes to the end case it is not going to check any other choices similarly you think that your expression is equal to the choice 2 then it is not going to check this condition directly it goes to the second branch executes and your control goes to the end of the case okay and you think that this expression is not equal to any of the choices we have written then what it does it directly executes that is why when others is there then it is going to execute when others branch and end case okay this is the syntax of the case statement okay here you see i have written here this is the branch one this is branch two and this is called the last branch okay next this is the example for the case statement okay so you may bit confused with the syntax and the explanation let us see the one simple example for this branch statements for that what I have taken means one variable I took as a weekday okay how you are going to declare using the keyword type you can declare weekday is a one variable what are the weekdays we know that is Monday to Sunday I have taken the one another one variable variable ranging from 0 to 10 and I have declared the weekday of the type day weekday of the type day using the variable and another one I have taken using the variable as pocket money is of the type dollar ok and next let us write the case statement how to write the case statement ok so first case is the keyword what is day day is the expression is is the keyword ok next let us write the first branch how to start when choice and the sequential statement when as it is keyword what is my choice any of this weekdays is our choice first i wrote here the tuesday and next the sequential statement is the pocket money is equal to six remember that here we have took the variable assignment statement because here pocket money is of the type variable this is variable assignment statement in the same way let us write the branch 2 what is branch 2 when Monday and here you are seeing one vertical bar Wednesday that means in the choices you can use Monday or Wednesday what is this vertical bar implies Monday 
on Wednesday. Okay. Then it is equal to pocket money is equal to two rupees. If that is not two rupees, that is two dollars. Okay. Next third branch, what I took when Friday to Sunday. Okay. What is our choice? Friday to Sunday. That is Friday, Saturday and Sunday. Okay. If your choice is Friday or Saturday or Sunday, then what is your pocket money? Your pocket money should be equal to 7. This is the branch 3. Okay. Next, finally, if that no choices are selected, then what should be your pocket money? Your pocket money should be equal to 0. If this expression is not equal to any choices, then it is going to execute the when others branch. And finally, it is the end case. Okay. Now, let us see how to how this case expression is executed okay so you think that you have selected the monday okay this is your expression day is your expression and it is of the type weekday and you have selected monday monday means what happens your case statement directly goes to the second choice and it executes this branch 2. After executing this branch 2, directly your control goes to end case and it stops execution of the case statement and it executes the next statement. Okay. Next, let us think that my choice is the Saturday. Then which statement is going to execute it? Okay, so your day is equal to Saturday, then directly our case statement goes to the when Friday to Sunday is there. In that Friday to Sunday means Friday, Saturday and Sunday. This is going to execute this third statement. First, second and third, then your pocket money is equal to 7 that is branch 3 is going to execute it okay remember that this is not going to case statement is not going to check any of these two condition directly it is going to check this one okay and let us see how when the when others is going to execute it okay if you selected the Thursday. Then it is just here it is seeing it is not going Thursday is not there in the choices then your directly case goes to when other branch it is going to execute the when other branch that is branch number 4 after executing your control goes to the next statement. Okay. This is what the beauty of the case statement. Okay. It is very easy to maintain and very easy to debug. If the conditions are more, then it is very easy and it is prefer to use the case statement. Okay. And the final and the one easiest and the simplest sequential statement is the null statement. Okay. What is this null statement means? It does not cause any action to the program or and the execution continues with the next statement. That is the simple one null statement okay this is what the syntax of the null statement just what is the syntax null and the semicolon okay this is the 
one sequen sequential statement okay it is not going to cause anything uh, to our program just your execution continues with the next statement okay my dear students please go through the slides 